Hello everyone, Dave here again with another model rocket. Today we're going to build the Luna Bug, and this is a, a featherweight recovery rocket. It really only has four parts to the whole kit. We've got a small body tube, nose cone, launch lug, and then a sheet of laser cut fins here. And so the first thing we need to do is to simply cut out the fins. And here I recommend using a hobby knife and just cut through all of the little tabs here. Now before I go to put these onto the tube, I'm going to sand off the remnants of the little tabs in here. And there are some both inside and outside. For these inside ones, I've just cut off a little strip of 100 grit sandpaper. And I can just put that in there and lightly sand it. If you need something that's got a little more stiffness to it, a lot of hobby stores have what they call sanding sticks. And they're, they're basically sanding grit mounted onto a little plastic applicator. You could also use um, a very small file here as well, which I may change over to, I think. So here I've switched over to a hobby file. And that's just enough to remove those little burrs in there. You may notice that hum in the background, some machinery is kicked on. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, we especially want to make sure that we don't have anything on the, the root edge here because this is where we're going to glue it. All right, so I'm going to go through and do the same thing for the other three fins here and when I come back I'll mark the body too. I've sanded all the fin parts here including the little landing feet and now I'm going to <coughs> excuse me, mark the tube for the fins and my tube got a little bit squished in packaging, and so I'm going to put the nose cone on the squished end here just to help keep it round. And now we'll simply put this down here and then mark where each fin needs to go. So we simply center this in the diagram. And then make a little tick mark here for each fin. Okay, so you should have three equidistant spaced tick marks there. The launch lug is going to be mounted up against the side of one of the fins, so you don't need a separate launch lug mark there. And according to the instructions, um, you can use a door frame as a straight edge to mark this. I am going to use this handy dandy little device. Uh, this is made by Estes, and it's just a, a fin marking guide. And it just gives you a portable straight edge, so when you're doing things like making videos, it's a little bit easier to do it this way. So here I'm just going to line up each tick mark. Not a good idea to draw with your hobby knife. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to make a line all the way down and then turn and do the other two. And again, I'm keeping the nose cone in just to help keep the tube around. So now I've got my three lines there. Now according to the instructions, um, they're using white glue or wood glue to attach the fins and also to attach the feet onto the fins here. Now something you're going to want to consider, if you're going to use spray paint for this model, uh, and especially if you want to use the color scheme that they have here where the nose and the feet are a different color, I would definitely consider painting the components before you fully assemble the rocket. And so if you want to use this scheme, go ahead and attach the fins to the body tube but don't put the feet on yet. Because that way once you have all the fins attached then you can take that part of the rocket, the body tube and the fins, and go ahead and spray paint that green and you won't have to worry about masking anything. And then while you're doing that you can take the other feet here and the nose cone and spray paint them ahead of time making them black or whatever color you want. Now if you do that, um, I would recommend masking off the shoulder of the nose cone because it will need to be glued and the paint can interfere with that. Similarly, um, for the feet and for the very ends of the fins here where they glue together, uh, you don't need to mask it off, but you'll probably want to come back and sand off the paint from the glue surfaces so that you get a better bond between them. Personally, I'm going to hand paint this rocket, so it's not going to make a lot of difference whether I paint it ahead of time or paint it afterward. And for the sake of this video, it's just going to be easier for me to paint it afterward. So the first thing we want to do is attach each foot to the fin, and this is just a, a simple attachment here uh, and you can use white glue or wood glue I'm going to use some gel type cyanoacrylate or super glue simply because I want to get this done fairly quickly uh, for the purposes of shooting the video here and whatever you use um, thin super glue probably won't work as well as it tends to soak into the paper um, and does not bond well in that fashion but whatever you use, um, this isn't a high stress point. Okay, this is a mini engine rocket, so you probably don't even have to worry about putting in fillets on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Just enough glue to cover the edges and so that it will squish down. And then my key concern now is making sure that the foot is perpendicular to the fin. Otherwise it won't stand straight. So there's one and I'm going to go ahead and do this to the other two and let this stand and dry and when we come back we'll see how we put the fins on. The glue on my foot pads for the fins has set and so these are workable now and we need to add them to the body tube and we'll simply glue each one along the line that we made here and the base of the root edge should line up with the aft end of the body tube like this. Typically we use white glue or wood glue for this. Um, I suppose you could use the uh, super glue as well 
fact, I'm going to try that just because I've never tried using this on fins before. And so this may be a good time to experiment. Again, the runny kind of CA is not going to be good for this. And you want to have just enough to make a nice uniform bead there, but not so much that it's all gloppy. That's a technical term. Alright, so now I'm just going to put this on like that. And the drawback to super glue types is they're not immediately sticky to cardboard like uh, wood glue is. So you do have to hold this here. Okay, and now I want to check and make sure that it's actually perpendicular to the tube, which it appears to be. I'm just going to hold this here for a minute or two and then we'll see if we can go on to the next one. And actually, something else I'm going to do here is I'm using a tissue to very gently remove the excess glue. Um, because cyanoacrylate glue, when it dries, gets really hard. So it's best not to have big lumps of it there. Now, you can either just keep holding this for a few minutes um, or set it up against something. I'm going to try this. This is made by Apogee Components, and they have a whole series of different sized fin alignment guides. This one is for 13 millimeter or BT5 tubes. And so I'm just going to slide this in ever so gently. And the trick is here you don't want to glue the tube to the fin. But now I can just <clears throat> don't drop your rocket in the tube guide. Fortunately, I didn't do any damage there. Okay, but now I can just let this stand like that and let that glue continue to dry. And then when I'm ready to do the next one, I can simply turn this, add another fin, allow it to dry. Theoretically, you could put them all in all at once and, and allow them to dry at the same time. I'm not quite sure I'm ready to trust it that far. But we'll go ahead now while that one is still setting. And set up the next fin. Here I'm going to use a little bit less glue than I did last time. And you want a nice, you want a continuous film here, but not a lot of excess. And so now I can either take the, the rocket back out, or you can just slide this in. I'm going to try the, the sliding it in method here. So now that's going to go right on my line again. Here, it's not a, a snug fit, so you do have to make sure that you actually get it aligned correctly. And look at it from the back here. Just a little. There we go. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let that one set up for a little while. And when I come back, I'll have the third one done as well. All my fins are glued on now. And we still need to do the launch lug and the nose cone. And it doesn't really matter which order you do these in. For the nose cone, you're going to need either some of this thick cyanoacrylate or some tube type plastic model cement. Um, the runny type of either one of these is not going to work well. And to do this, we want to put a bead of glue on the inside of the tube, not on the nose cone. This way, any excess glue will be forced into the tube and not end up around the rim here of the body tube, where it's going to interfere with the, the smooth lines of the rocket. So here, I'm going to go ahead and use the thick cyanoacrylate. And I'm just going to put a, a little bead in here. It doesn't, again, you want a uniform bead, but you don't need a really large amount. Okay, so I'm just going to mix that around in there. Okay. And now, all I need to do is just set the nose in, and give it a little bit of a twist, and distribute the glue well. And that part is done. And then for the launch lug, again here, um, you can use the uh, wood glue or white glue. I'm going to go ahead and use the thick cyanoacrylate again. And this can go along any of the fins. So if, you, if I just set this against it, it's pretty much the same length as the root of the fin. And so here, I'm just going to run a bead of glue along that fin. And I'm just going to place that in there and just gently press it in. Just a little bit coming out the back here. Just wipe that off so it doesn't interfere with the launch rod. Okay, and this will be ready to go soon. I think I will also here just very gently if I get a little corner there and wipe out a little bit of the excess glue there. It'll just be easier to paint that way. Good size drop right there. And this can be done after the fact as well. It's just you'll need to sand it then. And it's just easier to do it while the glue is still somewhat fluid. And then I'm just going to make sure it's good there. And that's already setting up. And so that is the rocket right there. Now it looks like there's enough of the cyanoacrylate glue on the fins. I probably don't need to add fillets. Um, you can if you like. And that would just involve taking some wood glue and just filling in the corner here on each side with your finger and letting that dry. Uh, if you do that, you want to do one side at a time. So you could do, say, these two fins and then you need to let it dry in a horizontal position. As I said, with this lightweight of a rocket and with the cyanoacrylate glue, I don't think it's even going to need that. So with that, I will paint this. Um, I won't worry about putting the paint in the video. And hopefully you get a chance to launch it soon. And I hope you had good luck with yours. Have a good flight.